Post game here with head coach Jim Penders. Huskies lose 12 to 5 in game two of the doubleheader, but win the series against Wichita State. Coach, let's go with the positives first. You are able to take a series against a tough team in the Shockers. Uh, just kind of take me through that first game. Really good pitching to be able to hold them down to just one run. Really good pitching, and they hit the, some balls hard too, but they were right at us. We got a little luck. Um, and then, um, you know, the floodgates opened in the second game. But yeah, on the positive side, Jeffrey Kirsten gave us a quality out, and Caleb was, Caleb you know, did a super job. And um, and then Wallace, you know, was just, he, he's just, I don't know where we'd be without him. I mean, I really don't. So many close games. And it seems like every game is close um, that we're winning, you know. And um, he's just been so, so good. So, um, yeah, that was really good. You know, the second game, I, you know, I felt like, hey, if we get up on these guys, they may, they may just go away. Who knows? And I didn't give them enough credit. They kept competing. Uh, we were the ones who kind of went away. I felt like Angus Mayock was a real bright spot, pitched so well, and you know, throwing up donuts like he was. We got to be able to, we got to be able, you know, just hanging all those zeros up there. We got to be able to hit, have some uh, better bats and string some things together. Not a lot of hard contact when we still had a chance to win the game, and then it's a little bit easier to hit when you get down ten, you know. So. Um, guys can't hide. Hey, what do you do when you're down t down one, up one, or tied? Um, that's really what matters. Why do you think you've struggled to hit in this ballpark? <laughs> I don't think you guys have scored more than six runs in the right? ten games that you played here. You know, and you think it'd be a pretty offensive park. I can't, I, I cannot explain it. We always seem to lay one egg here too. You know, we lay at least one egg here a year. Um, I don't know. I wish I, I wish I had an answer for you, but um, you know, we just talked about. Hey, if you're a guy that's squeezing it with the bases loaded or squeezing it when there's a runner on third less than two outs, <clears throat> you're not going to be a guy that can succeed in May. So these, this is must-do May. These guys have to step up. they got to address those weaknesses this week. You talk a little <laughs> bit about being away from the game a little bit. Is this a good time for them to get some days off, focus on their studies, and kind of get away from baseball? Excuse me. They have to. You know, they've got to, they've got to study hard. You know, priority shifts to being in the classroom now getting it done academically, and uh, they have to pass the year. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> Diane, thank you.